that he desired. What he ended up doing is what my grandmother, Sophia Magambu, calls Nairobi Karafu, Pata Potea. Nairobi Karafu to me, at the National Tallying Center, it is, and we've averted on our feet of it, the national chairperson of the commission called Bob Raila Odinga and William Root. The whole day, nobody knew who the winner was. Even the commissioners didn't know the results because tallying had stopped. I refer to the affidavit of the 11th respondents. They have confirmed even them they were concerned. Why has the open display stopped? Why are you not announcing the results per constituency as you were doing before? That is what I'm saying my grandmother calls Nairobi Karafu. And my niece Mimi calls Piki Piki Ponki Pacamielo Disco. Because he called both of them. He called both of them. And he was the only person who knew who the disco would land on. It could have been either of them. It could have been William Ruto, it could have been Raila Odinga. It fell on William Ruto and he says, voila, you are the president. Is that how we intend to choose our national executive? We've reduced it to Mimi's childhood game of picky, picky, ponky, pacamielo uh, uh, Council again. Yes, my lord. I, I did uh, give you brotherly advice. Be careful. That, that language appears to be alien to this court. I'll be guided, my lord. I'll be guided. But the main point, so that we don't lose the crux of the point, is that the lack of transparency in the telling and verification of the results, contrary to Article 10 of our Constitution, completely eroded public confidence in our Constitution. It completely left a very core exercise of a sovereign donation by the people to the whims of an individual not subject to any control. And that, my lords and ladies, should not miss the attention of this court. My lords, in our submissions, we've spoken about the DCI report and the penetration of the system. Again, just to buttress the role of this chairperson. My Lord, the DCI, as has been submitted, is set up as a government agency to investigate crime. They did find that indeed there were foreigners who had access to what we call critical election instruments. And their forensic report has established the presence of those persons. In other words, in layman's language, the DCI report has corroborated what the KPMG report has found and authorized users and access to critical election technology. Should we ignore that and say, just look at the numbers, forget about the process? I humbly submit that we cannot now even focus on the numbers. We should not even, because the process through which those numbers are being arrived at has been compromised. So that anybody inviting you even to look at the number is inviting you down an alley, a process in which the wish of the people has been convoluted. My learned senior John Muhammad representing a poor voter. Did he say that voter just wants to see, just wants to know how was my vote converted into account and the result of the elections? If the infrastructure and the process set up for that poor voter does not guarantee integrity, then, my lords and my ladies, it is my humble submission that the number that an individual ultimately comes out with at the end does not matter. 
if that number comes out in a manner that infringes the constitution